Welcome back. We need to go and find the courier, wherever the courier may be hiding, because currently I don't have a fucking clue where the courier is. I probably got told at some point, but... Did I listen? No, I didn't listen. No, 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 I didn't. And I should have fucking listened. Is it Nicholas Page? Are you him? I think I talked to you before. Oh, Comrade Ferguson told me that you'd give me a bundle of counterfeit money. Take this pen and sign the receipt form. Okay. And the warehouse bill. Okay. And the accident prevention training log. But there was no training. You're not getting anything until I sign it. Until you sign it. I see. And give the pen back. Okay. Sure. What do you think of the boss? I don't know much about him. My job is to collect documents, not kiss the boss's ass. Don't worry about it. Okay, so that worked, right? So now I've got the money. Do I go back to Mr. Old Boss Boy? I think I do. I can't remember where I... There we go. Do I go to... Aha! Take, talk to the person at the vending machine. I'm going. I'm off. Thank you, Nicholas. You helped me very much so. I can't remember where the vending machine is now. I think it's in the next room. Oh, I also found out that I don't have to run for everything. I just click it. And it takes me to where I need to go. Which is pretty fucking cool. Oh, there's a guy over here. What? Visitor in the line? What's up? Who are you? And why are you talking to me? Hello! Hi! What can I do for you? You talk to me! Thank you! The thing is, I can't get anyone to help me. My line over there isn't moving at all and I've been waiting for a week now. I haven't moved an inch. And how can I help? Just keep waiting. Everyone else does. But look at it, really. That window is closed. I can't just keep standing here. Can you check on the employee for that window? What if something happened to them? And I should go stand in a different line? Okay. Okay, what window number is it? 101. I'll see what I can do. Alright, I'll go ask. I'll see what's happening over there because that doesn't seem very good. And I've got to go talk to old, like, Billy Bob counterfeit boy over here. And then I probably end up having to go back anyway. I sure could use a cigarette. Comrade Ferguson sent me. You? The one I gotta get in a line? Uh, what, what, you, you the one, wait, you the one I gotta get into, oh, wait, what, have You're the one I've gotta get into line? What? What the fuck, I don't know what you're saying to me, uh, yes. Follow me, I'll take you to the line, then you're on your own. Okay, sure. Oh. I'm in a real hurry, could you please let me cut? If I let you ahead of me, I won't live to see the next spring. Why? Can't you see? I'm 30 kilos underweight. Here, look at my papers. If they don't give me some vouchers for high calorie diets soon, they'll be receiving a complaint from a very unsatisfied pile of bones. Uh, help him. Show me your papers. Maybe I can help. Yeah, of course. Here, look. Alright, cool. That helped me out. That would help me out a lot better than pushing him around. Right, yeah, now bugger off. I've already helped you out. Oh, you're gonna ask for me. I'm in a real hurry. Could you not please cut in? Go and steal something. What? I said I'm not giving you any money. Go and steal something, beggar. Uh, threaten him. Have you ever thought that someone might make you answer for your words like that? Answer to you, scumbag? Go and steal something I said. Sometime later. I didn't have the money to bribe him anyway. How the fuck did- How did I get past him? What? I'm in a real hurry. Could you please let me cut in? And why should I let you through? Because people should help each other. Just what kind of people, I wonder? What do you mean, help? We're all citizens of the same country. We live under the same sky, breathe the same air. And that's why you think I owe you something? No, mister. I'm not agreeing to that. Oh, fuck's sake, you're clicking the wrong thing. Thank God I've got like a whole time of work left. Oh, fuck me. How long is this line? Then again, in saying that, I ha I'm probably the one that is in number 101. I haven't done my job in about <laughs> three days. I'm in a real hurry. Could you please let me cut in? No need to be rude, young man. Why did you say I'm rude? Your eyes tell me you want me to cut in line, even though there's a fragile, defenseless girl right in front of you. Oh, what happened to all the good men? I'm sorry, it's just when I stand behind you, I'm so overcome by what I see in front of me that I completely lose my head. <laughs> Unfortunately, I still need it for meeting with my boss. You're a naughty one trying to flatter me like that. You're lucky I have some free time and couldn't let you get into trouble because of me, could I? Oh, sweet, I did it. I got it right. Yay! i just knock her out of the way. Bye-bye. I'm in a real hurry. Could you please let me cut in? Young man! The fact you're in a hurry is no reason to break with established order. But I'm in a real hurry. And that just emphasizes your lack of discipline. Looks like your superior from the Ministry of Labor isn't worth their salt. We didn't tolerate that sort of thing back in my day. Uh, lie convincingly. 
You're wrong. My supervisor is a wonderful person. He's just waiting for me to bring him some papers so that he can fill out a report. That's why I'm in a hurry. I can't let him down. Why don't you just say so? Go ahead. <laughs> Sweet. I got that one right. Thank fuck. I don't really want to lose any more time. I want to actually do something today. I'm in a real hurry. Could you please let me cut in? I'm also in a hurry. But I'm really in a hurry. I have urgent business too, but you don't see me trying to cut in line. You're in front. Maybe you should toss a coin. Fine, why not? What do you choose? Uh, uh, what is that? Heads or tails? Uh, leader. Leader! And damn! Fine, go ahead. <laughs> of course it was going to be leader. Fuck yeah. Hi. Thank you. Please process my thing quickly and properly. Hello. Hello. I'm, uh, use a fake name, use a real name. Uh, use a fake name. Abraham Snipperson. If you're Snipperson, I'm a ballerina in the patriotic theatre. But in our ministry, who cares? Go on. Well, recently, my much-loved grandma was sent from the blissful sleep. But the old hag hit some of her valuables in an armchair first. The chair was then repositioned by the state services fund. And I really need to know where it is now. Can you help? I can make it worth your while. What does make it worth your while mean? I give you a bribe. You guys say bribes, don't you? So I'll just bribe you. <laughs> so that you help me. That's not a bribe, sir. It's a contribution to the ministry fund. Yeah, whatever. Here's some money. Money for you to take. How much is in there? Enough to cover a couple of weeks at a resort. Like old Patriot? Better than that. I'm talking about Way of the Leader or even the Central. If you can do without that fancy electrostasis. Sta electrostasis? Electrolysis stuff. There we go. Got the word right. <laughs> Whoa. That's what I'm saying. I'll leave this envelope right here, right? Come back tomorrow. I'll try and find something out. Okay, bye. <laughs> Take the money and leave. Take the money and leave. Coolio. So that one's done now. I've helped him out. She's going to be upset, and I'm going to go to number 101, wherever the fuck that is, because I need to help the guy out and figure out why on earth something bad's happening. Oh, Pete Dong, hi! Talk about the flowers. Uh, did you find out what... Um, oh, it was... Fuck, it was... Oh, it was something. I can't remember what it was now that she's allergic to. I haven't found out which she likes best yet. All right, let me go double-check and ask, because I need to figure out the ones that she's allergic to, because that would be really funny. What one is number 101? I can't actually remember. Hello, you, you, I need. What's your favorite flowers? General chat. Uh, ask about, ask about Peter Dong. Okay, uh, ask about him and it's, uh, no, that's not right. Ask about the ministry. That's not good. Let's have a little flirty flirt. That's cool. All right, go back. Fuck, I don't, I can't remember what she likes. Oh, I can't remember what she likes. I thought I already did this. This is why I haven't bothered with it. Oh, shit. Oh, well. I don't actually know what number 101 is, so I don't know how I can help. They're not numbered. <laughs> I think it was something to do with, like, the color she liked was all right, but the thing that made her sneeze or she was allergic to. I believe it was tulips, but I'm not totally sure. I'm going to go chat with Peter quick. I'm just going to give him a rough idea because I really can't remember. Uh, help Dong choose flowers. Oh, ask about window 101. No? What do you want? Oh, okay. Talk about flowers. I think it was uh, white roses that she didn't like. Or was it tulips? Uh, violet, violets, red poppies. No, it's poppies, wasn't it? It was poppies that she didn't like. There's nothing better than red poppies. I hope it works. Cool. That was exactly what it was. It was poppies that she was like really bad at. Good. Uh, can I ask him about 101? Uh, do you know anything about Window 101? Maybe. What exactly do you want to know? Where can I find Window 101? Go left, then after about 50 meters, take a look down the corridor to the right. You should be able to find it from there. Okay, cool. Well, I really, really need help. Um, follow, follow, follow. Where is 101? It's probably down. Oh, it's down here. Oh, I see. Oh, I get it. So that, uh, I needed that to get down that hole. Oh, he's dead. That makes sense. I checked out the booth the customer was referring to, and I saw the reason straight away. A dead employee isn't much help to anyone. Looks like he had a heart attack, but no one noticed. What? Yeah, a fucking heart attack. I tried to point at the screen, but you wouldn't see it. A heart attack, yes? An inconspicuous life. An inconspicuous death. I should tell security. Let them deal with it. Yeah, big blood splatter, of course. I make sure. Makes loads of sense. How do I tell security? Where do I go to tell security? Security is a dead man, please! Please help me! I probably gotta go to the front. I'm not gonna run all the way there. 
<laughs> I'm just using the map now because I've figured that out. Uh, I'm gonna go tell him. I'm gonna b b buy. Oh, by the way, boy, uh, the guy's dead. So. Uh. I have good news and bad news. Which do you want first? Bad. The employee from the window died from exhaustion at his desk a week ago. That's awful. What's the good news? You know, free to go ahead and stand a different line. You know what? I think I'll just go home. I wanted to get a reward for turning in the banned books, but I doubt it'll cover my expenses. You can take the book if you want. I'm not carrying it back home. Thanks. I know what to do with it. Cool. Thank you. I'm going to read it. <laughs> uh, where do I... Where do I... Ooh, there's people talking. I'm going to listen in. The boss announced today that he has to cut salary to reduce spending. What about his salary? Well, he brought himself a gold watch yesterday to see who comes late for work. Of course he did. Of course he did. So where's the people that I can talk to about the dead guy? Anyone? Anyone want to help me out with dead boy in window? No? I kind of hope they do. Oh, I can... Ooh. Oh, ah, I can go salute the leader and probably get some more points. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I got an extra one. Oh, isn't that lovely? Uh, I believe going back here might help. Mister, mister, there you are. I need to tell you something bad's happened. All right, good. At least the book didn't go off. If it did, I would have screamed. God! Uh, there's a body in booth 101. Why? Why what? There's a body in... Why? What, 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 it's 101. Why don't I know about it? I have no idea, but you know now. I'll handle it. Dismissed. Thank you for your service. That's it? Yep. Goodbye. <laughs> Sweet. All right, that one's done. Let me go. Oh, I actually can't. Oh, I see. It doesn't let me do it. Because obviously this fucking thing's here. And it won't just let you, like, get straight past. Do I have to go? There we go. Cool. <laughs> it won't just let you, like, fast travel straight through. Um, actually, two seconds. Let me double check. Do I have to do anything else before I go and talk to him? Uh, so I've got that, the promotion, that'll probably get me promoted at some point. Um, use the fact that Dong's taking pills, I don't understand that. Oh, actually, in saying that, I could probably talk to Boy Matey Boy over here and ask him, or tell him about the pills, which might help me later on. So I'll do that first, before anything else. Oi. Hi. What do you want? Uh, I need that save, Marco. Do we have a deal? Alright, there is, tell me. That's no fun. Oh, use your friendship. Ah, oh, fuck it. Uh, well, I can't tell him about anything, and I don't have any pills to help him out with, so that'll do. That's cool. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's go into the next room. Let's go talk to the bo big boss boy. Big boss boy. It's a big boss boy. I'll wait for an hour. I'll have a chat with her as well while I'm here. I wonder if I can... No, it's eight hours to check that filing cabinet. <laughs> oh, I think I was nearly going to do that last time. How do I stop? Good. Hello? Oh, Magda, you look wonderful. Save your compliments for the fools like Anna Hazler. They have no effect on me. I don't mean anything bad. Nothing good will come out of it either. God, you're boring. What else have we got? Uh, job, boss, family. Talk about your family. Talk about the boss. Talk about the job. You might give me information that I didn't know before. Thank you. Didn't even need to read it. It updated it later. Oh, fuck. Huh? What? Huh? What? Didn't they teach you to knock? Well, let me knock then. Uh, what the fuck does that do? And just go in and talk to him? Like, <laughs> it kills an hour and a half. I don't know what it does, though. Thank you. Oh, safe. Can I piddle about with it when he's not here? I wish. I hope. Hello, Mr. Pete. Can I just, <laughs> just go up and hang out with him? Hello. I did your thing. What are you doing here? Permission to report in, Comrade Ferguson. I've completed your mission. Excellent. Now, if this wise guy doesn't give me every last penny, he's toast. It's, uh, it's a woman. Gender has no bearing on professional character, Evan Redgrave. You've shown me that you're not a complete imbecile like the rest of them. Your next job is to go to the office, collect money, and bring it back to me. What money? How slow can you be? Government money, Redgrave. The money our moronic visitors give to our idiotic co-workers for the good of our great country. Your colleagues already know how much they owe me, and if they forget, Raktivish will remind them. Okay, alright, I'll do it. That's the right answer. To the rear, much, and close the door behind you. Cool. Well, I've got to, like, do it, really, because otherwise I'll have to be kicked out, or I won't get the promotion that I need to get the things that I need, so... Eh. Hello, Magda. Can you please give me your money? Uh, Magda, Comrade Ferguson has ordered me to collect the contributions from my colleagues. Contributions? What contributions? To whom? I don't contribute to anything, to anyone. That's a blatant line slander. Well, contributions to the state on his behalf. Ah, oh, you mean the bribes? Say it straight and stop mumbling. You need to bring him an amount that's going to look nice sitting in his safe. Small change won't do. 
A thousand will be fine. What are you doing here? Okay. Bye. So I've got to go literally money asking. Great. That's going to be fun. How many people are there to ask, though? There aren't that fucking many. Okay. Well, did you... Boy, you got any bribes? All right, no, stop to stop doing the thing. Stop doing the thing. Why, why am I knocking an empty fucking door? <sighs> help me, please. Help me, please. Help me, please. Uh, hey, Marco, Ferguson told me to collect the money. Are you Aaron Boy now? It's not my place to argue with the boss. They're not arguing with that fat bastard. So what about the money? I don't have any money. We're in a recession and the market's stagnating. Do you even know that term? Go on. Okay, well, okay, bye. <laughs> Fuck, well, that... That didn't go very well, did it? Alright, hello, Mrs. Emma. I would like help. Hi, Emma. Comrade Ferguson asked me to remind you that you owe him something. I can take it to him. We're not so close that I trust you to take anything to Comrade Ferguson for me. So, okay. Mm, Alright, well, I need like another thousand of that to be able to do that then, I'm guessing. Ha ha ha. Wink, wink, wink. Uh, oi. Boy, I need your help. I need the money that you owe myself. Mm -mm. Uh, 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 uh. Give me money. I need money. Peter, the boss says you're a little behind on something. The report? I'm almost finished. It just... No, Peter. Not the report. But it's also made of paper, but smaller in size. With numbers and a portrait of the leader on it. Oh, you mean the bribes? It's all here. Down to the last coin. What do you want? Bye. Oh, discuss the adventures of that man. Discussing. I want to discuss things with you, Peter. You know, I started watching the Patriot Adventures. It's a cool show. I know, right? I haven't missed a single episode. I don't get why it's called the Patreon Adventures. Oh, now I see. What do you want? I want to end this conversation. Boyo, Nicholas Pajo, do you have bribos? No, you don't know. Okay. Uh, I think everyone else is going to be... I, I, maybe she'll have something for bribing. Ask about pills. Serena, you've been working on the mission for quite a while. Can you help me? No, oh, so alcohol. You need license for that. No, not that, but maybe you have headache pills on you. My pies don't cause headaches. I've only got laxatives. Need them? I think I do. Oh, oh! Thank you. <laughs> I need that. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna give him poop pills. Where are you, buddy? You're gonna get pooped on. Where are? No, where did he go? Seriously, he's just disappeared. The fuck? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Huh? Okay, he was just gone. Why? How? Who? Huh? What? <laughs> where did he fucking go? Is he back in there? No, he's not. I literally just... Oh, there he is. Okay, well, I'm being a dim bat. Pete, Peter, Peter, Pete, Pete. Peter, I found a great medal for you. What does it do? Here you are. Take two. You forget all about your head. They look kind of funny. Where did you get them? Does it matter? Things can't get any worse. <laughs> he says. He goes, Ooh. Is he just going to, like, absolutely, like, crap his pants right in front of the fountain? I really hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh no. They're all laughing at dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, Peter. I'm sorry. Well, I prayed the plank played the plank fuck prayed the played the prank on him. Oh, hi Peter. Are you okay? Well, what do you want? Where did you run off to? The toilet. That's where. Easy, Peter. Breathe. Ugh. My head doesn't hurt anymore after what happened. Something else does, though. The shame. Evan, did you have anything to do with it? Of course not. I'm not sure I believe you. What do you want? Nothing. Bye. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, let me go talk to Mr. Boyo over here and see if that was enough to prank him. Because I don't quite know if it was or not. It might be, but we'll see. What do you want? Okay, so I've done that. So I have to do even more. I have to do everything to prank him. That makes sense. Uh, collector. <sighs> I've only got 600. She won't do it because she doesn't like me very much. Uh, oh, make a call. To who exactly? I don't know. Actually. The Anonymous Trust Service welcomes you, Evan Redgrave. Ooh. Oh, we have to... Oh, my God. Submit information about colleagues. I have information for the Ministry. You made the right choice, Evan. Oh, shit. I got loads for that. Uh, take part of the Gabetan Revirive. Ooh. How does that work? Want a promotion? Join three colleagues in a career race and get them to give up. One job, one winner. Get your promotion. If you're not afraid of a little competition, that is. Hmm. I'll think about that. I have 1,400 things now, so I know what I'm going to do. Uh, da, 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 da. Hello. 
Come here. Come here. No, come here. Come on. No, get out. Come on. Come on. Come out here. <laughs> no, come back. Come back. I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. All right, good. No, fuck. Every single time I click a fucking button. Yeah, great. Good idea. Good fucking idea, isn't it? All right. Hello. Hi. Wrong one. General chat. Flirt. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. This pretty girl would love to do something fun, but if the company is good, any suggestions? I don't know about after work, but it's for now. What are you talking about? I'm still new to the city. And I'm all alone. Mm. Pop into the storeroom and I'll show you. You're a cocky one, Redgrave. I thought you were married. What makes you think I'd go in there with you? Oof, it was only 500. We're adults. We're free to do what we like. Why not besides? Emma, I can't bear it anymore. I've been thinking about you ever since I laid eyes on you. I can't get you out of my head. <laughs> So what? You're married? How could I have known when I got married I'd meet you? One kiss in private is all I'm asking for. Really? I'll give you my word. One kiss, that's all. Wow, that's so romantic. Just look at my favourite TV show when Kirk dumped Stephanie for Sophia. Alright, let's do this. And if I like it, then what? I might that smug grin off your face. I'll be waiting for you there. Oh, 20 minutes later. Okay. Oh, okay, sure. It took your father longer to fall out of that window, Evan. <laughs> what? What is it? Easy, girl. All right. Ask about the money. All right. Uh, we're not so close. I can trust you. Really? Really? Are you sure? Are you being serious, eh? Are you being serious right now? All of that for that? Oh, my God. Oh, fine. You go and do the fuck about with the telephone. You weirdo. You can't even walk right now. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> anyway. That is going to be the end of this episode, and I will, in the next one, try and get promoted, try and get all of the money, and hopefully get some bribes myself so I don't have to keep figuring out what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. whoop de bloody do Anyway, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, please let me know, and I shall see you next time.